Hello my beautiful bestie, it's your girl Nelly. If you're part of my nail crew, welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now and become part of my amazing nail crew. In today's video, I will be using this McCart Purple Kit. And right now I'm going to show you everything that comes within this kit. It comes with your base coat and top coat. It also brings your 100, 180 grit hand file. It comes with this beautiful purple brush, which is with spatula on one end and brush on the other. It also brings your nail surface cleanser as a two-in-one formula. And it's also purple, by the way. It also comes with this four 15 ml bottles of poly gel, which soon I will be swatching for you guys. And um, it brings the instruction manual. It tells you how to work with the product and also how to remove it, I believe. I don't know, I really don't read this, um, this manual at all. <laughs> so, um, and it also comes with dual forms. I'll also be incorporating this chrome powder. This came in the October box from Your Nail Lab box from McCart. I've used this in a recent video and I will be using it in today's video as well. And it's a very pearlescent color, it's a very beautiful color. Um, I'm also going to be using this holographic glitters from this brand and there's two different bags. Both of them are purple but uh, each one has different sequins. And um, yeah, I will be incorporating those into this set. These are the rhinestones that I'll be using in this set. And I'll also be using this poly gel nude color again. I'm sorry, Bestie, but I really like it. So these are the colors that come in this kit. And I'm pretty sure you've noticed my nail. So what happened was um, I was baking some uh, breadsticks in the oven and apparently the tip of my nail touched the hot metal it bent so that's why it looks like a gnome hat um, I was thinking about fixing it but um, I didn't so I thought it was just something you know funny because I've laughed at it every time I see it so now let's get right into this video for my pinky finger and my pointer finger, the design is going to be absolutely the same. I'm going to do ombre on both nails and I'm going to use obviously two different colors, but I will be showing you the entire process. I have explained this in the past before, but I will explain it again in case you're new to this channel. By the way, if you're new to my channel, Hey bestie, welcome to my channel. Um, okay, so what I'm doing is when applying the poly gel, you have to pat it to spread the poly gel throughout the nail. Also bestie, make sure that you're um, securing your side walls, meaning uh, that they're straight. And that is whether you're doing an ombre or a full cover nail, which, which is exactly what I'm going to do with this ring finger right now. This one is going to be a full cover of this beautiful purple color. So regardless of whatever it is that you're going to do with your nail, you have to pat the product at first to spread it. Once you spread it, then you start brushing the product to even it out, to have a nice uh, and a nice surface. That's, what, that's the word I'm trying to look for. So in your side walls, always make sure you um, tuck your side walls in so that it doesn't look too, like the nail doesn't look wide. In that way, the better your application, the less filing you have to do. Now, um, the way I do my full cover nails is I do the two bit method. I find it very easy to do. And here I am just showing you different angles so that it's helpful for you um, when you watch me do it. Maybe you can just practice it and let me know if you do and if it doesn't work. Or if it works, also let me know because, I mean, I would like your input in your nail journey. Um, right now, I'm just showing you how it looks after I blend that second bead.
So for my thumbnail and middle finger, they're both going to be the same design. I'm going to do an extended nail bed with that nude color. And um, these two nails are the nails that I'm going to apply those beautiful glitter. So I hope it's helpful for you in case you want to do it yourself. Every time I'm doing ombre design, I do it in three different steps. The first step I already showed you, which was the color, the bottom color of the nail. My second step is what I'm showing you right now, which is the cuticle bead, and it is the nude color, whatever nude color of your choice. In this uh, particular situation right here, you saw that I applied too much poly gel. It happens, it's perfectly normal. All you have to do is just scrape whatever excess um, of poly gel you have on your nail and then you start blending that nude color. So um, the third step after you cure this uh, bead, you're going to apply a clear bead of poly gel. This clear bead it's going to have two different purposes. It's obviously going to protect your blending um your ombre is going to protect the blending area and it's also going to balance the nail as you saw earlier when i showed you once i was done with the new application it was not even it looked like a lump of nude color and then it went down to the bottom color so the clear poly gel bead it's also to help you balance the nail once you're satisfied with your application, you do a 60 second cure in your UV LED lamp. So for my extended nail bed, what I do is I remove the sticky layer. Remember, you have to remove the sticky layer when you're working with, the, with gel. It would always have a sticky layer, unfortunately. But it's part of you know, the process. After you do that, then you go in and you file your sidewalls and you make, make them nice and straight. Um, the reason why you want to remove this sticky layer is because if you don't, you will end up ruining your hand file. After I'm finished doing that, I'm going to go in with some base coat. I'm going to use this to adhere the glitters. I um, just apply a thin layer of base coat. I sprinkled the glitters. I'm going to start by using the holographic glitter. Once I sprinkle the nail or the bottom half of the tip, I will tuck those uh, glitters, making sure that they're you know secure and nothing is sticking out of the nail tip because then you're gonna have a little bit of trouble when filing or when encapsulating and then filing it. Um, once I place those glitters to my liking, that's when I cure the nail. Um, I do a flash cure, usually 30 seconds. You can do up to 60, it's up to you, whatever you feel comfortable with. After I cure it, I go in with a second layer of base coat. Um, here I'm just brushing whatever excess glitter I have on the nail and then I go in with my base coat. Um, this is just so that I can adhere the second layer of glitters, which is the different sequence of glitter. You'll see me use them in a few seconds. After curing the second layer of 
the glitters I go in again um, for the third time with base coat on top of that. The reason I'm doing this is so that it leaves less gap between each glitter and it doesn't create bubbles when I encapsulate the nails, which is what you're going to see me do right now. After I finish encapsulating all the nails, I do file my nails. I do file off camera to keep my video shorter. And, um, but I do show you what they look like after I'm done filing. And I wanna give a quick shout out to everyone who takes time to watch my videos, everyone who comments on my videos. Thank you so much, Bestie. I love you so, so, so much. Thank you for showing me so much love and support. And this is what the nails look like after they've been filed, shaped, and buffed. And now let's go in with some decor. So what I'm going to do for my ring finger, I'm using this um, top coat. This top coat is from another poly gel kit. The reason I'm using this top coat is because it has a sticky residue. So it's perfect to um, use with crumb powder. After I finish applying the top coat, I do a full cure for 60 seconds and then I go in with my comb powder. And now it's time for some bling, Bestie. And Bestie, just so you know, every time I apply bling to my nails, I always use the exact same bling gel. And it is the McCart bling gel. It's my absolute favorite at the moment. Um, so what I do is I apply a little bit of that bling gel and then I go in with some top coat over it. I apply my bling in whatever place of the nail I want or whatever spot I put that bling gel on and then I do a full cure for 60 seconds and trust me when I tell you those blings do not move. So this was a last minute idea. I remember that I had this spiral gel in one of my drawers and it's purple. So I decided to use it. This is the first time I opened it. So that's why you're seeing me uh, pretty much mix everything together. So because all the, the glitter that's inside of it, the reflected glitter goes all the way to the bottom of the jar. 
So that's why I had to, you know, stir it a little bit. And now you're going to see me apply it. Once you finish applying your uh, spider gel, don't forget to wipe the bottom of your nail and then you can do a full 60 second cure. And here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this set. Thank you so much for watching Bestie and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.